Welcome to Virtual Coffee with Don Rickabaugh, the Note Queen, where we talk about owner financing and notes. Financial solutions, one mom and pop to another. Anyhow, um, so let's just, I want to just take one thing before we get too lost, too, you know, too many directions. I just want to say, let's take one example. Actually, what I'd like to do is just, we'll work off this, this deal, the numbers that I already have in for Mike, right? Let's just say that you bought the note, you bought this note, okay? Mm-hmm. So the property was worth uh, 125, okay. right? And you're saying, what's your maximum loan to value, investment to value that you would like to be? If a property is worth 125, what's the most you want exposed? Uh, from little that I've read and listening to the podcast, I think they want you to be in the 65 to 70 or 60 to 70. That's, that's mine. Okay. You know, that's, that's mine. So good. So let's just take, um, let's take in the 70 number. Let's say this is, you know, whoops. <laughs> what did I do? Uh, 125 times 70% of that. So this is the most you're going to invest against this, this note that, you know, Mike bought the property from the people and they decided to sell the note to you. Right. Okay. And you bought it. Let's say you bought it at a 10% yield or a, it was 207 payments. So let's see the yield. You got just over 10.2. Okay. So, um, Number one, do you have eighty-seven thousand five hundred dollars that you could throw at this? Uh, I, I want to spread my thing. I don't want to lock my entire amount. Uh, I, right. I, so that's where I felt that uh, you know, obviously, you, you got to diversify. You know, right? In okay, this so- day and age, you can never know where. You know? Yeah. You've been listening to Virtual Coffee with Don Rickabaugh. For more, please visit notequeen.com.